The Metro series is one of those shining gaming gems that definitely deserve more attention. Thankfully, the excellence of Metro Exodus has certainly compelled a larger proportion of people to take an extensive look at this title. Featuring an open world that is equal parts beautiful and terrifying, Metro Exodus is definitely a game to check out. The Fallout series is arguably one of the most iconic post-apocalyptic series of all time, featuring some of the most intriguing worlds, settings, and stories ever seen in a role-playing game. Several games in this series could have made the cut, but the superior role-playing experience enabled by Fallout New Vegas makes it a clear winner in our books. The game's story is incredible, and what's even more impressive is that it was all made in an astoundingly short development time of 18 months. It would be nigh impossible to talk about post-apocalyptic games without mentioning the absolute genius that is The Last of Us. Naughty Dog outdid themselves with this title, releasing an emotionally charged tale driven by two of the best video game characters of all time. The tense combat situations, beautiful graphics, and incredible story are just some of the many reasons why you should give this incredible game a go. That is, if you haven't already. Project Zomboid is perhaps the most realistic zombie apocalypse survival game there is. Almost every action has a consequence as players spawn in a small town in Tennessee where their entire county has been subject to a zombie virus that has seen them blocked in by the rest of the world. You must then go through the world scavenging what you can to survive, dealing with zombies, and hoping you don't get caught in a crowd of undead. The game features a realistic weather system, farming, and more and players must do everything they can to survive in the harsh world. The announcement of Horizon Zero Dawn was met with widespread anticipation, with most people wondering how the concept of robot dinosaurs could be integrated in a realistic manner, something that seemed way too wild to be done seamlessly at first glance. Thankfully, Guerrilla Games managed to craft a masterful tale of robots in servitude that went rogue, leading to a worldwide apocalypse and the relapse of society back to the Dark Ages. Death Stranding seemed to have come at a perfect time when the world was in lockdown and felt so disconnected, here came a game that had players take the role of Sam Porter Bridges, who is a courier that connects remote colonies in post-apocalyptic America. In true Kojima fashion, the game's story and concept is a complex set of layers featuring freaky monsters, terrifying antagonists, and some great world building.
Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl was released in 2007 and likely became a significant source of influence for subsequent post-apocalyptic titles like Bethesda's Fallout 3. It also became a fan favorite for those who enjoy post-apocalyptic video games, thanks largely to the care and attention that went into its creation. The gameplay mechanics in Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl may not be up to scratch with 2009's Stalker. Call of Pripyat, but the atmospheric setting and encapsulating story of Shadow of Chernobyl makes it the best choice for this list. Left 4 Dead 2 has been an iconic shooter since its arrival. Being seen as a purveyor of the four-player shoot em up style of game, some have come and gone attempting to replicate what Left 4 Dead 2 has achieved. But the game continues to be popular among players. The game sees you as one of four immune survivors to a zombie virus, as you go through a level shooting and slashing at any undead you see, including certain special infected that you'll have to work together to defeat. It's a great time waster full of fun protagonists and bloody good action. Thanks. Can't find me some real first day. Shit, it's gotta heal my ass. No, no. Reloading. That's what I'm talking about. Frostpunk is one of the more unique type of apocalypse games, being a strategy city builder rather than an action adventure like most others. It doesn't feature any zombies or monsters, but instead just an icy cold world that is growing colder and colder with little to no explanation. Players must lead a caravan of survivors from London, England to forge a city that may stand the frigid cold the world is plunged into. The game does an incredible job with its world building and being a difficult strategy game that will give you a challenge. Released just four days before the launch of the PlayStation 3, Epic Games' Gears of War was Microsoft's last opportunity to convince gamers to opt for their Xbox 360 instead of Sony's follow-up to the highest-selling console of all time. Looking back, it seems safe to say that the company succeeded. Epic Games couldn't have done much more to sway the opinion of even the most die-hard PlayStation fans, as Gears of War offered one of the most intense and gritty third-person shooter experiences up until that point. The game's whopping 94 Metascore is a testament to this, as two are its many sequels. There are very few games that are as captivating as Telltale Games' The Walking Dead. Even though it has fairly simple gameplay, the game managed to enrapture audiences with its story of eight-year-old Clementine's journey through the zombie apocalypse over the course of four episodic seasons. Known as the game that put Telltale on the map, the series was critically acclaimed and is still widely celebrated even a decade after the release of its first season back in 2012. <laughs> For sure. Perhaps the most muted post-apocalyptic setting on this list, Breath of the Wild, completely took over the gaming world by storm when it launched, wowing both critics and fans with the sheer level of freedom it afforded to the player. 
The story of the game takes place 100 years after Link and the champions unsuccessfully try to beat Ganon. The loss results in the entire world of Hyrule being plagued by the malicious presence of Ganon with only a few sparse villages showcasing the only signs of civilization.